One of the biggest strengths of the International Security and Counterterrorism Reference Center database, beyond just the topics that it covers, are the type of sources that it brings in on those topics. Let's take just a brief look at the type of sources you will find in your search results list. Academic journals will definitely be a type of source that will come up in your search results list. Academic journals are often a required type of source for many of your assignments, though most of your homeland security faculty won't require all academic journals. You can always tell when a source is an academic journal article by the logo symbol on the left side, but there are other ways you can tell too. When you look at the titles of the articles, they are long, they do tend to use academic language. You'll notice that they're coming usually from a journal of, for example here we see a journal of conflict and security law. You usually note volume and issue numbers and page numbers. A lot of academic journals do tend to be fairly long. Academic journal articles are valuable in your research and the reason why faculty want you to use them is because of who they're being written by and what and how they're being written. They're usually written by experts in the field. Well, not usually. They are written by experts in the field. And these experts are usually academics or researchers who are usually at an academic institution. But with Homeland Security literature, that's not always the case. Sometimes they'll be at other organizations. They are thoroughly, thoroughly researched and they go through something that's called a peer-reviewed process. So before these articles are published, they are reviewed often blindly by other experts in the field. They're particularly helpful to you because they really help provide a fantastic analysis, historical, current, potential, future, what's going on of issues in Homeland Security. Also keep an eye out for the report icon because these reports have also gone through a really stringent and detailed research process. Congressional research reports are especially good and when you see one on your topic, try following the author's name because the authors of these congressional research reports tend to be experts in certain areas and often have several of these published on similar or related topics. You'll also find items that are considered periodicals. Periodicals are publications that are published more frequently, usually monthly, though sometimes quarterly. Moreover, periodicals don't go through a stringent research process, so they won't be really strong research pieces. But what they are is they do tend to be timely, and they tend to cover topics that are a little bit more recent. Depending on your topic, you may also get news sources in your list of results as well. You may also find materials from professional conference presentations. This was just a quick look at the types of sources you may find when doing research in the International Security and Counterterrorism Reference Center database. If you have any questions, never hesitate to let us know. Good luck!